If you're trying to compare the values of two lists with each other, Excel offers a very unique method for doing so. And it doesn't even require using a VLOOKUP and obviously doesn't require you to manually go and compare the lists with each other. As an example, in this spreadsheet, I have two lists. I have a list of people who have been invited and that list is located in column A. And I also have a list of individuals from the invited list who actually attend it. So we have an invited list and from that invited list, some people attended, others did not. And what we want to do is we want a formula that gives us the list of people who did not attend or people who were absent. Here's how you can do this without manually comparing the two lists and also without even having to use a VLOOKUP. So the formula for doing this is currently displayed on the screen. First, I will apply this formula and then I'll explain how it works. So here it is. So we have filter. First, we select the range in our invited list, which is the A2 to A26 range, comma, not, parentheses open, count if, then we enter the range of people who have attended, that is the B2 to B17 range, and comma, and then we put the invited range Again. And as soon as you enter that and you click on enter, this formula will return the list of all people who are absent. And there you go. So I didn't even need to drag down the formula. As easy as that, we have the list of all people who were absent based on the values in columns A and B. Now, uh, let me explain to you quickly how this formula works. So this formula is a filter formula. And what the formula does basically, it first begins with the filter formula. And the filter formula takes an array and then decides what we need to include or disclude. So in the second argument, we are discluding everything that is in the invited list, but not in the attended list. And we're doing it with a not and this countif statement. Now, just to explain how this countif statement works, I'm just going to apply the countif statement alone to a separate cell. So to give you an idea of how this works. So equal sign count if then the attended range that is B2 to B17 comma the invited range, which is the A2 to A26 range. And uh, if I put this formula in a cell and click on OK, I will get an array like this. And what this array is giving me is a series of ones and zeros. And the ones mean that the individual has attended. That means the individual in the first list, in the invited list, is also in the attended list. And let's validate that. For example, Stacy Singleton is invited and Stacy Singleton has also attended, as you can observe right here. However, when we have a zero, those are people who have been invited and didn't attend. For example, Angelo May is in the invited list it cannot be found in the attended list. So that's how the second argument of the filter formula works. We are not including people who did not attend based on this array, which will be returned to the formula. And as easy as that, you can use this simple formula to compare two lists and see which values are in one list, but not the other. And that's how it works. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos.